this is gate 2014 set 1 ec question number 13 in the low pass filter shown in the figure for a cutoff frequency of 5 kilohertz the value of r2 in kilo ohms is so the nptl reference is lecture number 24 introduction to passive and active filters and op amp as low pass filter of the course integrated circuits mosfets op amps and their applications by professor hardik j pandya department of electronic systems iisc bangalore and the YouTube link is given here. Coming to the useful data that will be needed in order to solve this problem is that for a given low pass filter and the frequency response is like this, there is the gain versus omega response. That is if you increase omega, the gain will reduce and after a certain point, the gain will be very less. For an ideal low pass filter, it will be like this. The gain will become zero. But for a non-ideal, actual real low pass filter, this will be the response and as you increase the order, it will be more closer to the ideal one on increasing the order. So order of the filter increases, so it assembles real LPF. But now we are considering a normal LPF whose response is like this and the value of the frequency for which the gain of the filter is 1 by root 2 times its maximum gain is known as the cutoff frequency coming to the solution this is the given structure of the op amp now let us find the gain gain av equal to v naught by vi if this is z2 and this is z1 for an ideal op amp we can write due to virtual ground this is 0 since this is also grounded this should be 0 vi minus 0 by r1 equal to this current equal to this current because nothing will go in here because the op amp has infinite input impedance so v0 minus 0 minus v0 divided by z2 so v0 or r1 we can write as z1 so vi so v0 by vi equal to minus z2 by z1 so this is the gain of the op amp av now z2 z2 value is r2 parallel c so it is r2 into minus j by omega c divided by r2 minus j by omega c which is equal to r2 divided by r2 omega c minus j and minus j multiplied by j on numerator and denominator j square minus 1 minus j square plus 1 so r2 by minus j square is plus 1 1 plus j omega c r2 okay so this is the value of z2 so now the gain is coming out to be v0 by vi equal to minus z2 by z1 but actually the definition of gain is modulus of that so modulus of this which is equal to r2 by r1 by root over 1 plus omega square c square, r2 square. Hence we get the gain as R2 by R1 divided by 1 plus omega square C square R2 square whole root over at omega equal to 0 AV equal to AV max which is equal to R2 by R1 and at omega equal to omega C that is the cutoff frequency the gain should be AV max by root 2 as per definition of cutoff frequency now at omega equal to omega c av max by root 2 and also plugging the equation in here the expression of av as a function of omega we write that r2 by r1 so r2 by r1 instead of writing that we can write av max whole root divided by 1 plus omega c square c square r2 square whole root over av av gets cancelled and 1 plus omega c square c 
c square r2 square is 2 squaring both sides now omega c square c square r2 square is 1 or even we can write omega c into c into r2 is 1 since omega c into c into r2 is 1 now you see if c is 5 kilohertz so omega c is 2 into pi into 5 kilohertz that is 5 into 10 to the that is radians per second equal to 10 to the power 4 into pi rate per c value is 10 nanofarad omega c into c into r2 is 1 c is 10 to the power minus 8 so taking c to this side it is 10 to the power 8 and omega c is 10 to the power 4 into pi multiplied by r2 so 10 to the power 4 by pi equal to r2 or r2 equal to 10 by pi kilo ohms equal to 3.1 kilo ohms the value of r2 in kilo ohms is 3.1 this is the answer